before I even hop into the video, let's just talk about how badly I want it to be fall. And it is so not fall. <laughs> like, I was putting on my MAC Rebel lipstick today and my maroon shirt, and I was like, oh my god, I want it to be fall so bad. And it's still 100 degrees outside. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another installment of my top five favorites. And remember, I am doing this in collaboration Calibration. Collaboration. I always get those two words mixed up. <laughs> mixed up. I'm doing this in collaboration with my friend Valerie from Blush Diaries. So I will link her version of this video down below so you can check it out. Also, she's brand new to YouTube, so subscribe to her channel if you like her videos. And yeah. So let's hop into it. Today's video is going to be top five concealers. So this was not hard for me at all. I have the same concealers that I use over and over and over again. So this was a piece of cake. You guys probably already know what they are, but I'm gonna share it with you anyways. Okay, first one is Max Pro Long Wear Concealer. I wear the color NW20. This concealer is just, it's amazing. There's so many good things about it. I don't even think I have a bad thing to say about the product itself. Like, it's thick, but it's not cakey and it covers like a dream and it lasts all day. It is definitely a pro long wear product. It doesn't crease inside of your fine lines and it is just the perfect concealer. You can use it under your eyes, you can use it on like the crease of your nose, on blemishes around your face and it's just perfect. You can use it for contouring if you like that and I know people of all ages love this particular product. It comes in such a great variety of colors, cool tones, warm tones, MAC always does that. My one gripe about this concealer is the packaging. I think having a pump is so cool. Like it's so sanitary and it's just fantastic. But you get to a point like this one where there's a little tiny bit left in the bottom and you can't get it out and you can't pop the top off of it. Like you can't open it. You basically lose that little bit of product. So that's my rant about this. But other than that, it's a great concealer. Definitely in my top five. My favorite is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Full Coverage Concealer. I have two of them here because I do have two different colors. This concealer, so it came out this year, or maybe it came out last year. No, it came out January this year. Um, so it's part of their spring line. It is like, it's exactly what it's titled. It is weightless, it is full coverage, and it looks like your skin. It's just amazing. I'm wearing this one today um, under my eyes and just kind of on some little blemishes around my face. And it's perfect. I love the packaging. So it comes with a doe foot applicator. It kind of looks like a lip gloss. Um, and you can just wipe it right onto your face. If you're the only person using it, then it's perfectly sanitary to swipe it onto your own face. And it's perfect when you get to the bottom when you're about to run out, pull out the stopper and you have like a ton more product in it. I did that with my last one, but I've gone through several containers of this. Um, my one gripe about this is the color selection. There's only like maybe eight different colors and they don't have any cool tones. They have tons of warm tones, but they don't have any cool tones. I am a cool toned person. Also, I like cool tones under your eyes because it kind of cancels out the redness but they don't have any cool tones in it. So I mix together um, fair neutral and light neutral. If I only wanted to buy one, it would be light neutral because it's the closest to my skin tone, but if I want to like highlight a little bit, then I'll use fair neutral. But other than that, I mean, if I mix the two together, it's, it's fine as far as the color goes, but oh, I love this stuff. I am so glad they came out with this. Next up, I have a product that is similar in packaging to the Urban Decay Concealer, but totally different product inside. So this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I wear the color Vanilla? Yeah, Vanilla. <laughs> I think it's the second to lightest one, or maybe it's the lightest one. This concealer is not quite as thick and not quite as full coverage as the other two that I showed you, but it is very, very creamy. And so it blends into your skin so well. You don't have to use a beauty blender. You can even use a brush um, or just your finger and it blends so well. Um, it does cover pretty well. I mean, you can use it under your eyes. You can use it on blemishes. It doesn't have as great of coverage as the other two, but I like this one so much because if I'm having like a light makeup day where I don't want to wear a ton of makeup, I will just throw this on, put a powder on top, and I don't even need to wear a foundation. So I like it for that purpose. I also have gripes about the color selection. They also don't have very many cool tones. They have a lot of warm tones, a lot of neutrals, um, and I think there's only like five colors in this one. So it's hard to find a color match, but 
The product itself is a really good product, um, so if you can find one that matches your skin or is pretty close to your skin, then I definitely recommend checking it out because it does give you that like no makeup makeup feeling and it gets the job done. It, done. it covers my under eyes pretty well. Next one I have is by the brand Tarte. So this is the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. I did a video way back when, probably a year ago, where I compared this to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. They're totally different concealers. I mean, this one is a pro longwear. It's in a pump. It's liquid. This is a cream-based concealer. Um, it's mixed with the Amazonian clay. It's in a little flat packaging. Um, it only comes in two colors. So it's kind of like comparing apples to oranges. But I love them both. So I still use them both pretty much regularly. Um, the thing I like about the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector is it's very, very thick. So if I feel like I'm having a day where I have just crazy under eye circles and nothing is covering them, this always gets the job done. So it's super thick, super creamy, it blends very well so you don't have to worry about cakiness and it has like a pink kind of salmon-y undertone which is perfect for canceling out blueness like veins and dark circles. So I really, really do like this. I have gripes about it because it's in a pan, so you have to use your finger to apply it, which is obviously not very sanitary. But other than that, it's really, really, I like it a lot. Last up is a drugstore concealer. I know, I don't really talk about drugstore. <laughs> drug I was gonna say drugstore. I don't really talk about drugstore products, but this is one that I have found that I absolutely love. So this is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer, and this is in the color 205. I think it was like fair, light, something like that. But this is a little bit pricey for a drugstore concealer. I think it was like $11 which is a little bit pricey, but it is a skincare product and a concealer all in one. So when you open it up, well I've kind of swirled it all together so it's really hard to see, but when you first get it you can see the swirl of concealer and the swirl of um, moisturizer. And so CoverGirl teamed up with Olay, they swirled the products together and basically gave you a two-in-one product. I don't really like two-in-one products, typically, but this is one that I really do like. So if I'm ever in a super hurry and I have no time for makeup, I always at least put this on because it moisturizes my under eyes and it covers up my dark circles all in one and it lasts forever. There's a ton of product in this. I think it's 0.3 ounces, so it's huge. Alright guys, well that is my top five concealers. Let me know down below what your favorite concealers are, and also make sure you check out Valerie's top five concealers. I'll link her video down below. That is all for today. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!